Welcome to r slash best of Redditor updates, where OP finds out that her husband is sleeping with the babysitter. Our next Reddit post comes from r slash marriage. I think my husband is sleeping with the babysitter. I'm still trying to process this in my mind while typing this out. My husband and I have been together for six years, married for four. We have two kids, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Both of us work full-time. I'm a realtor and my husband owns his own business. We've had a number of different nannies in the past. Sometimes our parents end up watching the kids. About eight months ago, my husband told me that one of his friend's daughter, Ella, who's 20, was looking for a part-time job during college. We live in a small college town, so her commute wouldn't be far. We tried her out one night and it went smoothly. She's always been nice to me and the kids love her. My suspicion started last month when I came home early to find that my husband had been home. Ella was also at the house babysitting. I asked my husband why he didn't send her home if he was home. His response was, she's just trying to make a little money and the kids were having fun. Then, two weeks ago, I drove by my husband's office on the way to a meeting and her car was parked there. I later asked my husband about what Ella was doing at the office. He said that she probably stopped by to see her dad. Now when I come home, Ella is always dressed up with makeup done and heels on. Two days ago, I found strands of blonde hair in the backseat of my husband's truck. I have blonde hair too, but this was closer to Ella's shade. Also, I don't think that my husband would do anything in the back seat since he's 6'6", six six, 240 pounds. Last night, I found the opportunity to check my husband's phone while he was with the kids. I didn't find any romantic text between them, but I could definitely tell that text messages had been deleted. If you read the conversation, it didn't make any sense because it was obviously missing the middle parts. I talked to my friend this morning and she pointed out that my husband has a type, blonde women. Ella falls perfectly in that category. Should I confront him right now or should I wait to find something more concrete? Then OP posted an update. The nanny is currently at the house right now. I tracked my husband using Find My iPhone and he's also headed home. It's a 30 minute drive. They both think that I'll be working until 7 p.m. today. I'm going to walk into the house 15 minutes after my husband gets home unannounced. I'm not sure what the plan is if I catch them. I unfortunately don't have access to his phone log since his phone plan is through his business. We have cameras on the outside of the house. We have a baby monitor near the kid's bed. I'm not ready to fire her unless I get solid evidence of my husband cheating. I need to know if my husband is having any sort of romantic relationship with her first. Then OP posted another update. I wasn't able to get the concrete evidence I was looking for, but some more circumstantial evidence. I tracked my husband through Find My iPhone. He stopped on his way home at the grocery store for 10 minutes. I decided to park and wait on a side street. That way, I could see when my husband would get home. He got home at 5.30. Ella was scheduled to work until 6. We have a long gravel driveway that leads to our house. I decided to park near the barn so I wouldn't be heard pulling up to the house. I walked in the front door and found Ella feeding my four-year-old. She was also preparing dinner in the kitchen. Today, she had on a tight top, a skirt, and platform heels. I asked if she knew where my husband was, and she replied, he's upstairs taking a shower. She then immediately went over to the living room to pick up her phone and send a text message to someone. Also in the living room were a fresh bouquet of flowers. I asked her about the flowers, and she said a guy that she's been seeing gave them to her today. She said that she didn't want to leave them in the car, so she brought them inside. I asked her about the guy that she was seeing. She said that he was from school and wasn't sure if it was going anywhere. I went upstairs to see if my husband had left his phone in the bedroom. He left his phone on the dresser. Sure enough, the newest text message was from Ella that read, Your wife is home. I tried looking up the deleted messages on his phone, but they had been permanently deleted. I decided to wait in our bedroom for my husband to come out of the shower. He comes out and he's surprised to see me in the bedroom. I told him that my 6.30 showing got cancelled. I tried to initiate intercourse to see how he'd react. He said that he didn't feel comfortable doing it while Ella was in the house. At this point, Ella was upstairs in my younger son's room which shares a wall with our room. Ella leaves the house at 6pm with the flowers. After dinner, my husband mentioned us buying Ella a new car for Christmas. And his reasoning was that her car was old and it wasn't safe for the kids to ride in. I told him I'd think about it. I'm thinking about firing her on Monday without telling my husband and see how they both react. I'm still trying to process everything going on. I'm still hoping all of this is just me overthinking. I really love my husband and I can't stand the thought of our beautiful family splitting up. Down in the comments, a user says, The car purchase suggestion to me is the fishiest thing of all. 
OP replies, Ella's family is not a family of means, but she now has a new iPhone, new clothes, jewelry, and shoes. I didn't put these facts together until my husband suggested buying her a brand new car. We share a bank account for bills, but we also have separate accounts. Also, I just remembered last week that my husband came home with a new jacket. He told me that he liked it, so he bought it. My husband never buys clothes for himself. Then someone else says, There's no reason to be coming in heels and all dressed up to babysit two toddlers if there wasn't something else going on. And OP says, I 100% agree with this. When she first started, she would come by in baggy clothing. Now she comes in dresses or skirts. My husband likes me to keep my nails white. Ella has white nails now too. Also, my husband has a foot fetish, which is why the heels are messing with my head so much. She went from sneakers to sandal heels. Then, about five days after the original post, OP posted another update. Yesterday morning, I met up with Ella and told her that we wouldn't be needing her services anymore due to my little sister being available to watch the kids, which is true. She quietly said that she understood and said to let her know if I would change my mind. My husband called me five minutes later sounding very upset about Ella being fired. I think Ella told him, but he claimed that her dad told him that we fired her. I told him it was my final decision and there was no changing it. He came home 20 minutes later and asked me why I didn't talk to him about firing her first. I told him about everything I've noticed, from the text to the clothing she wears. He denied everything and said that it was all in my head. I told him that if you want this marriage not to end in divorce, he had to cut all contact with Ella. After one hour of arguing, he finally agreed not to contact her anymore. I honestly don't have the mental energy to deal with divorce, splitting my kid's custody, and dating again. I don't want to be a single mom who's always busy and unhappy. I told him to never bring her up again. I don't know 100% if they had an affair, but I think it's better for my health not to find out. I think I'm going to quit my job, raise my kids, and work on my marriage. I'm not sure if this was all because I've been working a lot of hours and I've been distant from my husband. Also, down in the comments, OP shares. He cheated on me once before in college. We had been dating for three months, and he promised it would never happen again. This is the first time since then that I've ever suspected anything. Oh, man. Does it feel to anyone else like OP just completely has the blinders on? She says, I don't know 100% if my husband is cheating. Well, I know 100%. Technically, I don't have rock-solid proof, but come on, OP. This is the most obvious, classic, cliche story of a cheating husband I've ever read. No teenage girl is going to chase around two toddlers in high heels. Good luck, OP. I mean, it's nice that you fired Ella because at least that problem is gone, but really, it feels like you're putting a band-aid on a gunshot wound. Our next Reddit post comes from r slash cleaning tips. Recently, my husband smells and the bedroom and pillows smell so bad. The past few months, my husband has started to smell bad. His head makes the pillow and sheet smell really bad and it makes the whole bedroom smell. The smell is like turnips or rotten potatoes and the whole room smells of it. I wash the pillows and sheets, but they smell so bad after just one night again. He recently changed jobs, and since he sweats an abnormal amount, maybe it's stress-related and a lot more than before. I don't know if it's his job or what he eats or drinks there. Could it be different coffee or the satay sauce that he usually eats for lunch at the new job? I'm not sure if this is the correct form to ask, but I don't know where else to ask. Then, down in the comments, we get some really interesting replies. My husband went through a spell of smelling really bad. The problem was he was eating Slim Jims or other foods like that. The spice smell came out in his sweat. If your husband is eating those, get him to stop. OP replies, Are those heavily processed meat snacks? He started eating a lot of salami recently, but this week I had happened to ask him to stop because it's not healthy. It'll be interesting to see if it changes. Then, about three months later, OP posted an update. So, at the time, my husband was eating a lot of salami and cheese together, and I mean a lot, for breakfast, snacks, lunch, and more. I asked him to stop the salami, and he did so, albeit reluctantly, and the turnip smell has gone. His pillow is back to its normal levels of smelly, and he hates me because he's no longer allowed to eat salami. Thanks to everyone who mentioned processed meats as a potential problem. It really puts me off eating the stuff now. Our next Reddit post comes from OP's original page. I'm a 28-year-old man. I went to my 26-year-old girlfriend's parents for Thanksgiving, and it went horribly. 
We've been dating for over a year and I've met her parents a few times, but just small things like dinners. They live four hours from us and this was going to be the first holiday that we spent together. We drove down Thanksgiving morning and we were going to spend the night there, then a few days at a resort. Her parents are blue collar and church going. I teach high school math. There's a bit of a cultural difference. My girlfriend made me promise not to get into a discussion with her dad on politics or religion. I was fine with that. I'm not going to change his mind. Her dad never hid the fact that he didn't respect me. He kept making comments about teachers indoctrinating students, common core, and other nonsense. There's no reason to get into a fight. I'm sure that's what he wants. I mostly ignored him, but he never let up. He was a total douchebag. Everyone was uncomfortable, and her family avoids confrontation with the dad. My girlfriend and her mom tried to change the subject, but they never stood up to him. I was done with this, and I told my girlfriend that she could say something, or I'd be more than happy to. She begged me not to make a scene, so I didn't. I went upstairs, packed, thanked everyone, and left. I told my girlfriend that she should stay and get her parents or brother to drive her home. We don't live together. From there, I went to a resort, and I enjoyed the weekend. My girlfriend has been trying to apologize, but when I asked what she said to her dad when I left and what he said, she still never confronted him. He never took responsibility. It sounds like he continued to insult me after I left. I've never seen her so avoidant. She's only like that around her dad. Her only solution seems to hope that he'll eventually lighten up. Then, about three days later, OP posted an update. I started by apologizing for leaving her and not continuing our vacation as planned. She also apologized for not leaving with me Thursday night. She wasn't mad I left. She knew I was frustrated with him and the promise I made to her. However, she was hoping things would be better in the morning. She ended up spending the weekend with her family. She wanted to spend time with her brother, sister, and mom. One promising comment she said is they basically ignored and excluded her dad from everything they did that weekend. I asked if her dad physically abused her or her mom, and she was really taken aback by this. She got a little upset at me and said that he would never lay a hand on his family. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, sweetie, I see that your father emotionally abuses you. Does he physically abuse you as well? What? Physical abuse? No, never. Tons of emotional abuse, of course. All right, sorry, this, this girl's brainwashed. She asked why I would even ask that, and I said that her family was so reluctant to stand up to him, even going so far as asking me to promise not to because they were afraid that he'd react physically. She said that's just how he is, but he's gotten worse the last few years. He thinks that his family shouldn't question or criticize him, especially not in his own home. I set clear boundaries with my girlfriend. I will never go to his house again if that's his attitude, unless things change drastically. If they want to visit in the future, it'll be at my house, if we ever get to that point. I will not ignore him or defer to him, though. I asked her if she would be okay having little to no contact in the future if this behavior continues. She was very reluctant to promise that, and she feels that he'll eventually change his attitude. I told her she doesn't have to ask him to apologize or even pretend to like me, but the ball is in his court, and it depends completely on how he acts. She won't stand up to him, so I'm taking it out of her hands and doing it myself. I don't care if we never see them again. We're spending Christmas with my family. My family absolutely loves my girlfriend, and she has a good relationship with my mom. My parents live close by, and my girlfriend is becoming my mom's favorite. I think my mom is starting to like her more than me. My parents haven't met her parents. My parents wouldn't put up with his garbage. A lot of people criticized me for saying that he was blue-collar and church-going. I was trying to follow the rules of the sub and not discuss politics. What I should have said is that he sounds like every other extremist media junkie parent who repeats the same anti-vax, CRT conspiracy nonsense nearly verbatim. Fake Christians who misinterpret the Bible to bully LGBTQ kids and ban books. Is that a better background? Do I think that I'm better than blue-collar workers? No. Do I think that I'm better than QAnon idiots uncritically repeating whatever's been pumped in their brain? Yes. OP, it is nice, it's kind of a relief that you and your girlfriend established this boundary, but man, your girlfriend is a pushover. There's no way that she will ever pick your side over her dad's side. And she honestly believes that in his old age, he'll get less extreme? Have you ever met an old person in your life? That was our slash best of Redditor updates. And if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.